Uh, has there been any big surprise in the market this year uh, so far in your eyes? Um, this year. Well, I mean, uh, BlackRock appro approving, or sorry, BlackRock and everybody else getting approved for the ETF uh, and having a bunch of money coming into Bitcoin. That wasn't too surprising by the time we got to August of last year. Um, we pretty much expected that at some point. Um, we expected all the governments and, and Gary Gensler to go after crypto a bunch and all this stuff. So that's not too surprising either. Um, I don't know. I don't really see too many surprises except for probably uh, the most of the money staying in the meme coins, right? That's probably the thing that I would say might surprise most of the market. But um, that's just because everybody who's already in the market has been in the market for a while in crypto, most likely. And there's not as many new people. The new people love to jump in the memes. And then the, the people who are already here are basically like, yeah, until the bull market really gets started in terms of, you know, getting the altcoin season and crazy moves, then basically we're degenerate gamblers and we're we're jumping on meme coins as, uh, you know, we wait for uh, the rest of our portfolio with, you know, the good coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum and stuff you can hold long term really starts taking off. So, um, yeah, I, I would say that's a bit surprising. Also, now that I think about it, one other thing, um, we did expect Bitcoin at the halving uh, around uh, April uh, 20th. Uh, to be about $48,000. And I believe at the time, let me double check. Where were we? Uh, Bitcoin was 50 to six, or $59,000 to $67,000. Um, so that's, mm, what do you call it? Like ten dollars to $20,000 higher uh, than what we expected there. So that was actually quite surprising too. And what what does that mean? Well, if we were higher than expected going into the halving, right? A lot of miners sell uh, going to the halving. We had previous all time highs um, beat by a bit, and so yeah, you, it's not surprising that we're getting a lot of selling pressure right after the halving uh, for a lot of those different factors. Um, and then the fact that we have uh, governments in the they fight you phase for the most part in Germany selling and stuff like this, um, the knock on effect is not too surprising. But um, just having that. Uh, price go too far too fast um, is good, but um, yeah, we were, I guess, just the how high we got um, was a little surprising. You can also put that due to inflation, basically, right? If you look at the uh, money supply that's been printed over the last few years versus Bitcoin's actual price, it did not technically hit a new all-time high if you look at it from that uh, perspective. So, you know, um, yeah, uh, you know, there's a couple, you know, surprises here in the market, but nothing too crazy. Um, I mean, we expected Joe to be, you know, not capable, not capable of a debate as well. And so, yeah. Um, anything surprising to you, Kyle, that you, that you think of off the top of your head? Cause I, I'm pretty sure like, uh, it's been kind of, kind of standard. Yeah. It's just accumulation. We're just kind of like waiting. Mm. It's just waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. So it's like which altcoins are accumulating versus exactly. other ones that are just chopping. So yeah, I get what you're saying. 